Saturday morning. We've washed the old truck up a little bit here. We're gonna go to a little car show. I need to dry it off. And look who's here with some uh, coffee. You're the man. Well, it's Saturday afternoon, back from a little outing. Took the old blue Chevy in the 55. Blew a power steering hose on the 55. It's always something. And then uh, last night we worked on this thing a little bit. I was gonna put a different alternator bracket on it, but the one I have won't fit. So I guess I'm gonna have to make one. And I need to do a little work on that distributor. And we'll piddle around here a little bit. Sounds like somebody's got a Volkswagen running out there. I ought to have this thing running is what I ought to do. Maybe that's what I'll do. Go for a ride. Sure is hard to stay on track with three kids and a wife. That's okay. We got to do a little exhaust work here right fast for the oldest one. Hatchet sharp. Always a good thing. Never want a dull hatchet. Working on building the alternator bracket for this thing. Mother's Day. I haven't done much this weekend, but I'm gonna piddle around here a little bit. Now the little man here has learned how to sharpen knives. Who touched that? Yo. Oh. And now he's going to start himself a little business to make some extra money. And guess who the first customer is going to be? Who's it going to be? You. Mm-hmm. All right. Let me see what I can do. Well, while he's busy making a living, I've been working on this alternator mount. There's the beginnings of it. And the alternator base should fit right there and articulate inside the frame there. And I think that'll work better, I think. Business is booming, done sharpen three knives to a mine one of mommy's. Now what are you gonna do? You gotta get more customers. I ain't quite done yet. Mm-hmm. All right, here we are on the alternator bracket coming together. Now I gotta see if I got a belt. Probably not. Oh, and we bought this at the yard sale today. That's a deep one there. Might be just the thing for something. Someday. Oh, look who's here. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Did I ever tell you about the time I cut my hand when I was a little guy on a fender on a Chevy truck? You did? Right there is a scar. You can see that. I think I was in sixth grade and my mom was driving my uncle's truck which had a dirt track car motor in it and it would run. And I cut my hand on a rusty fender and she rushed me to the doctors, burning rubber at every stop. 
and <laughs> while I was bleeding in big puddles on the floor, I was hoping somebody was watching that. Yeah, your buddies in high school. <laughs> I was in sixth grade. Oh, sixth grade, sorry. <clears throat> but nobody saw it. So how much money did you make? <laughs> well, I'm the one who's got to pay you, so you're going to have to tell me. Uh, you owe me a dollar. A dollar for four knives. Well, that's fairly economical. And very sharp knives. That's right, they were. Okay. I got the bracket done. Uh, I need just a little bit longer belt, really, but this will do for now, I guess. And we're a little tight to the frame rail there, but we can still fix that. Longer belt might fix that. And uh, what else? So I put a different cap and rotor on it because the cap was cracked and the rotor was junk. Which I thought was excellent reasons to put different ones on. Yes. I'm no rocket scientist, but... It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that one out. I'm not sure if that was complimentary or not. <laughs> it was. Alright, let's see if this thing will run. Alright, it fired right up as soon as I wiggled the battery terminal. But... The belt don't squall no more, which is good. Pretty good, don't it? Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. All right, pal, you ready for me to pay you? Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> hey, get in there and rev it up one time, will you? Please. Thank you. And all that.
smoking gun. Needs a little tuning. I think it's a little bit lean. It's kind of poppy. But we'll fix that. That's easy enough to do. I'm going to figure out how to mount the horn button thing in here. I got that. You may be wondering, why isn't he working on the 46? Well, I got some of these other ones here I need to have a little fun with now that the weather's nice. So, I think I'm going to fix this one up a little bit and drive it. And then... And then... I might fix that one up a little bit and drive it. Just like that. It means i got to fix the bell house and fix the brakes. That might be kind of fun. BW? Mm-hmm. All right. This is why you keep cheap wrenches around. So you can bend them to work on VWs. Or whatever else. Well, like a big dummy, I put the gaskets on that came with the new header. And they're leaking already. Burnt one out, so we gotta get some new gaskets. But that'll be time. There'll be time for that on another day.